Okay, I'm going to. I guess so. I'm going to paint this uh, large painting now, uh, based on my impression of the rose. Um, the color we're going to use are Winston Newton color. <laughs> I I try to experiment. <laughs> I normally use them on uh, regular watercolor paper, but today I use on rice paper. Uh, we normally don't use it. The reason is that if you wet mount it, it will rain. But we use a silicone dry mounting paper to avoid that problem. So I can use them, right? I use uh, the Blue Heron Arts Basic 3 brush, the soft brush to start with, with the rose, because it loads with more water. Let me uh, show you how to blend the ink, uh, the color. So I use a little yellow to use yellow at the bottom of the brush because the petal has yellow in, inside right we have a very beautiful um, tricolor or, or tri multiple color so yellow and a little bit uh, arizari crimson to get an orange or peach but don't blend too much just a little bit and finally, I touch a little uh, gouache color, and it's very crimson. It's heavier, opaque watercolor, gouache. You know that? Gouache. 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 It's an opaque watercolor, and it's very crimson. It's a crimson. Crimson. Yeah. So you're just crimson. the brush with the gouache. Yeah, the tip uh, on the on the on the front. Full value out of the tube, right? Yeah, yeah for, um, I, I, I have a, a full load of uh, water. Yeah, I have water here, so when I need it, I would add more. Um, <clears throat> to do a flower, I, I'll just see whatever uh, comes to my eye. So uh, the rose has a very typical, like uh, that, that one in the back, uh, triangle. So um, I draw from the, the center. You know, the way I hold the brush is uh, very high because this is a, give me a loose control. If you want to more control, you go uh, lower, right? So, <laughs> yeah. so I start from the center or the, the top of the flower. We use the uh, uh, tip of the brush. Um, now I have to decide uh, where's the, the flower. Normally, the golden spots are this <coughs> four quarter, uh, you know, about points, about a quarter horizontal, you know. When you take a picture, you do the same, right? So uh, I either start from here or here, um, and uh, I would do just a, a triangle, maybe an upper uh, corner on, the, on this side, so I don't paint it overall. I, I leave this corner empty. Or you can leave that, you know, corner empty as a sky, or just do like a, half in your mind but you will break that road soon <laughs> yeah so i i i i will do it. once i decide I, I have to go this far right so this is a stroke one when i you know as soon as i touch the paper the rest of the stroke follows you created the we call it uh, the heaven and the earth right the and the everything in between so i when I touch the paper, I, I, I don't leave the brush, uh, leave, the brush never leaves the paper until it is uh, exhausted. So just, you know. The yellow kind of doesn't come out, so I have to make up a little. Yeah, add, add a little yellow to, to, to be more realistic, but you know, it doesn't matter. Uh -huh. yeah. no, no repeat, uh, just a one stroke per pedal almost like. So the, the pedal has a cold edge, right, the outer side. So you can add some loose, loose uh, strokes. Yeah. Okay, that's a. Thank you. Um, so, when you have two flowers, what's the rule? One's bigger. One is bigger. bigger. <laughs> you got it. So, uh, if we decide this is the bigger one, what's the the next? It should be a bud, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, but uh, don't if you have two, you don't want to do the same. You you can have one uh, hidden behind. We can add that later um, if we need. So we can just do those, but. The butt goes uh, either you know from top down first, then the calyx goes up. That you know I, I can also do the calyx first, but since I have this brush handy, I just do this uh, top first. Yeah, I have this kind of uh, uh, stroke on the handout that I give you. That's just a guide. But in the life, you need to adjust to the reality. You know, um, but this too. Too, too much the same. <laughs> so maybe we can make this half broom later or you know, somehow different. Um, anyway, let's make uh, another. Uh, so when you have multiple, what's the good number? Three, right? Or five. Don't do four, <laughs> four is hard to compose. Also not good uh, in Chinese uh, numbers, it's uh, taboo or, or you know, some uh, folklore. Uh, they don't like uh, fours, so you, you want to do the three. Yeah. Um, so you, you, you can do another in, in the top of you that, that I'm looking at. So I just cannot go around, but you know, the, the edge is not round. I can, uh, see that in real rows, right? So you can add dark ink like a watercolor. Just write uh, a W or, or M or something in a, in a suggestive way in a, in a stroke. You think about some kind of a letter, you know. Um, Another butt here in front of it. Three. So I try to vary the color also. What kind of the color? Less yellow, maybe. More red. I didn't use white because uh, it's more advanced. I will do it in the afternoon, okay? Could you say a little bit Why? Uh, pardon me? about how the inspiration translated into okay. this? Yeah, I basically um, try to compose a picture that, that's uh, perfect uh, in com composition. We don't worry about any, okay. anything okay. Yeah, at this point. So I basically place the spots of flowers based on a uh, triangle. Uh, when I need, I pick up that flower, it, it's a side view in front of me. Um, that's it's perfect fit this need, so I just pick that flower. You can, you can do this uh, center first, but when you get used to it, you can start from anywhere. You know, just so buds don't count. But uh, not really. <laughs> but there are three also. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to use another brush. You can save that brush. You can add more flowers if we need. So I use a. Uh, um, well, I think most people only have one brush, I guess. So we just continue then uh, with ink. So the brush has rose in it, right? So what we do is I use a little ink here. I try to hold it. So you, you, you get some kind of a, a rouge, rouge color, right? So the, the ink is kind of dark to start. So I would do the, the major leaf group. It would be on this flower. This, the major one. So the flower I did is that one. So as I talked earlier, the profile. So we just do without concern about the uh, light effect. Just the a profile. 
three is the, the number, right? So you maintain your colors in the brush, the yellow and the bulk and pink? Yeah, we, we just uh, use the leftover color because yeah. uh, that creates uh, harmony with uh, yeah. everything. Yeah, harmonize. So you, don't, you don't really want to, to watch it. Especially when I do outside, I don't watch my brush. I just keep going. Yeah, just keep going. So you can add a little rouge uh, and the ink to create the thorns. You know, that's how I do it. And uh, you don't concern yourself much with the light, Henry. No, uh, I see everything in a in a um, solo way. <laughs> okay. Just the profile, yeah, solo way. That's all. Uh, two two dimensional. The painting is two dimensional in in. Uh, in reality, so the three dimension is illusion. So the we, we think this is more, you know, close to the truth. If you just uh, do the the way you understand it, not just you know it looks. We don't do the shadows for sure, but it will it will have the light and the dark. <laughs> Basically, it comes out like that, you know. If you like it, uh, it, it, it looks like a real, uh, it, it's perfect, and you don't, yeah, yeah it just... You work with contrast, but you don't necessarily work with shadows or... Like no, we do yin yang contrast, yeah, the, the black and the white. white. Uh, also, you know, the, the front and the back, so not all the leaves in the um, back, this is in the, in the front, right? So you, you want to indicate that. So we just do some suggestion. Um, leaf there was going did you intend to have no no it's an accident left? accidental yeah everything is accidental i didn't try to depict that one to the left that has the vein in it yeah, exactly that's uh, how it can happen it's an accident. accident happy accident so you want to keep that <laughs> yeah so the, as i mentioned uh, the uh, direction uh, for the calyx is upward you you go from uh, from bottom up so I blended the color on the paper, not on the palette. So I, I didn't use much blending on, on my palette, right? Yeah. The areas where you're leaving white, would that like almost be where your light is indicated or when you look at the rose, that's the lightest part and you leave it white? Yeah, we use the white uh, background for white, exactly. So you, you have to leave um, unpainted uh, white but as a highlight, yeah, could somebody, not necessarily, not necessarily. Okay. If, if it, uh, it overlaps, that's perfect, if not, you know, just uh, uh, a separation, uh, like a watermark between strokes, that, that kind of sense, you know, if that makes sense to, to you. So we, we leave some uh, openings between the strokes, uh, between the pedals, yeah, pedal strokes. But don't do it on purpose. It just happens sometimes. So we need to what uh, to foil out to contrast out this flower. So we use dark. That's called yin yang, but not light. Yeah. So we use dark leaves to contrast. did you decide that the, the stems were going down? Oh, I always start the, the, uh, the branch from... Uh, from one side or Yeah, a, a, a one side, the root, right? Imaginative root. I can also paint the root if I have room uh, so, so for at that. at the beginning of the painting, even when you were just painting up here, you already knew that this was going to happen? Um, not necessarily. It could be... Um, on this side, you know, you can you can still change it. Yeah, you can still change the sides. Depends on, um, but I feel more uh, a dominant direction towards this side. So that's very important to decide. Um, if all the branches goes this way, it's better than uh, some goes this way. Some goes. So only have one starting point in, instead of two. You can have a minor starting point on on the other side. They might um, go diagonal or somehow uh, cross but uh, you should have a dominant direction mm -hmm. to, with a, a gesture uh, movement and when did you decide that um, 
I still haven't decided. It could be changed. Yeah. yeah. I, I haven't decided everything. Everything is still in the making. So I don't have any fixed, uh, finished painting yet in, so far, right? So I, yeah, still, you know, I can, since you asked, I just do the, uh, the branch, I mean, the trunk. Uh, you know, you can do an old trunk, like a, this is like the, the wood, woody part. You can, you can do a little outline, just like a texture, you know, the rough stem, the woody stem. This could be a young bud, yeah. Anyway, uh, if it doesn't work out, you can cover it with the leaves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just cover, cover it. Ants and the sparse contrast, so the, all, not all the uh, leaves scattered, you should have uh, more dense here. And uh, the ink is uh, considered as the essence of Chinese painting. If you use uh, green, it's not very Chinese <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> as I said, the shadow factor, right? Uh, there might be other factors that we will learn tomorrow is uh, the calligraphy. So ink is basically the calligraphy derived from the calligraphy, ink strokes. So it has to do with the stroke and it's most powerful with ink. Uh, with color, you can also do it um, with calligraphy. So the, in essence, the black is a, um, a calligraphic element that gives um, you know, more power to it. Yeah. Should I stop? <laughs> you should stop before you think it's finished. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah so uh, another thing is the veins. It's a difficult part. Uh, people always um, make it too, too real, you know. So, uh, so in Chinese uh, painting, we have a saying, which, uh, as uh, Cindy mentioned, we use the word right. Uh, right idea. In painting outside real flowers, we call that xie shen. Xie shen, shen means uh, life, right? Xie shen. Xie shen means uh, to paint from real life. How do you say? Plein air painting or this kind of painting, we call xie. Xie means right, the real. The, yeah, the, the realism, but not really um, realistic. We still paint the, the idea, but uh, with inspiration of the real. Um, there are two poems I like to recite. One I already mentioned earlier. Uh, when you have uh, hundreds of flowers uh, in, uh, in front of you, only two or three that touches my heart. So we only paint those two or three. There's another poem I like to share with you. It's uh, um, to uh, cut off the unnecessary, just like the cutting the trees in the late fall. After pruning, you see the rose only have skeleton. That's the, the kind of idea. You should use your artist license or gardener's scissors to cut, to cut it, to uh, simplify, to simplify by cutting off the super flower. When it comes uh, to the flowers, you should make it look like the, the first flower in the spring that's new and original. Or look for the new and original, not the normal angle. Try to find something unique. That's the goal in painting outside uh, in the real, um, inspired from nature. So uh, now you bear these two in mind. Try to find the, the most new, the most original to make it uh, into your painting. Yeah, um, yeah that's the, the poem. Thank you. Yeah. So we should have different uh, views, right? And that's why I asked you to do earlier studies. Yeah. And then you compose with your sketch into a painting based on the uh, ideal uh, composition rules. Yeah. And we try to indicate the the movement of the, the flower, the <laughs> gesture, yeah, gesture, yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. Thank you. Really fun to watch your hands uh -huh. work.
Uh-huh. When did you first start painting? Oh, I was uh, as young as uh, 14 or yes, yeah. 14 years old uh-huh. when I first studied with my master.